Hello, it is the evening of September 1st. Hello, September. Um, I look kind of crappy, and that's okay. <laughs> um, I got really nauseous this afternoon. Um, I was playing Halo. There is a misconception out there that I'm a gamer. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing, but I'm not one. I don't want to give off the wrong impression. Um, a lot of my friends play video games, and I have several friends that work at Microsoft, so the whole, you know, Xbox thing is very popular in my crowd because we can get them at discounts and things. But, um, yeah, so I'm trying to learn how to play Halo. Sorry, I shouldn't bump the table because it wiggles. I'm trying to learn how to play Halo just so I can play when we have Halo parties because I watch. When we have a Halo party, I watch, and I love it. I love it like crazy, but anyway. I was trying to play today, and God, that two joystick thing just, uh, whoa, <laughs> it takes a while to get used to. And something about the way the screen was swinging around when I was like staring at it for like two hours, I got so nauseous, nauseated. I just, oh my God. So I slept until like noon today, and then I like had breakfast and talked to Sean and blah blah blah, and then played Halo for like two hours and then got really nauseous and then took a nap. <laughs> like, so I've sort of had this weird off day where like, I don't know, anyway, and then I came home really early in the afternoon. Normally I would stay again at Sean's, but I just kind of felt like coming home and nesting, I don't know, doing the dishes and whatever. So, um, but actually the whole reason I'm making a video, that was my whole very long excuse for looking like crap. <laughs> God. Um, I was making a video because I was watching Stacy's video, um, Just Lose It Now. She's talking about why do we eat, you know, we all have our reasons for eating more than we need, um, and why we crave food. I mean, clearly sometimes things just taste good, and suddenly you're like, ooh, that would taste yummy, but, like, why do we overeat? And I haven't had a b real challenge with this since starting. I think I've been one of the few people on YouTube who hasn't really had cravings. I haven't, like, gone crazy or gone off plan, except for when it was planned, like, when I knew I was going to a barbecue and I wasn't going to freak out if I ate like 2,200 calories or like if I'm going on vacation and I just kind of go, well, I'm going to try to keep it in check, but I'm not going to like criticize myself if I choose to have another drink or something. So I was thinking about why I eat, why I overeat when I do overeat because I don't just binge. It doesn't really happen except for when I have like nothing good in the house and then I just eat a whole bunch of crap, but it's still not over calories. It's just like I didn't eat anything healthy that day. That to me feels like a binge. That makes me feel like, oh my God, I just fail at this whole eating thing. <laughs> but um, I realized that I eat, and I thought I'd share because I thought it was interesting. I eat in celebration. If I'm sad or angry or confused, I don't tend to eat. I tend to want to like sleep or like read how-to books on how to be better. <laughs> um, but when I want to celebrate, when I'm in a fantastic mood and it feels like there are no problems in the world, that's when I eat. And that's, I think, when I get in my trouble because whenever I'm just exuberant and really happy, which is most of the time, but there are times when I'm happier than others, you know, um, I realize that that's the time in my life when I tend to eat a lot. For example, on, the, on Sunday, there was a barbecue and... I had eaten really well all weekend, including no processed things. And then I went to the barbecue, and I kind of was like, okay, well, I'm not going to work worry about my calories, but I ate so much. I probably ate like 2,500 calories yesterday. And, you know, big deal. Um, it's September 1st now, and I'm starting the no processed foods thing, like, officially tomorrow because that's when my work week started. I knew this weekend was going to be crazy, so I was just going to try my best. And I did really good. I ate no processed foods at all the whole weekend, except for last night I had s'mores, <laughs> which um, have marshmallows. And I don't think that the graham crackers we ate were, like, not processed. So I know that wasn't excellent. But how often do you get to have s'mores? Come on. And it's, like, the end of summer. Anyway, so I didn't eat spectacularly yesterday, but I just figured I'd talk about that. It's, like... I get to that point where I feel like, oh my god, I've lost so much weight, and I know I haven't lost, like, a ton, but for me, like, 30 pounds um, is a lot of weight. I'm back down to my high school weight now, and I want to get past that. I certainly don't want to stop here, because I'm not satisfied, but I'm pleased, you know? And then this party, and there's lots of people, and it was just really fun, and it had been a really 
damn good day overall and I just that's why I overeat if I do overeat or that's why I let myself indulge is when I'm pleased it's like yeah when I started this diet I was generally dissatisfied with everything and therefore it was no problem to eat in control I think that's kind of strange isn't that it's like it's like a reverse like some people when they're doing really well on plan they want to do better and it's when they feel crappy or they feel sad or confused or lost or miserable, depressed, whatever, that's when they eat. Lonely. I know, I thought that was interesting. So, like I said a little bit ago, um, I'm going to start tomorrow officially the whole no process thing. And I don't know if I clarified that in my video, but I was, I still had to kind of transition out of all the processed crap that was in my apartment. Like, I had all these English muffins that had processed stuff in them and like, some peanut butter that has processed stuff in them, and I had a bunch of things, like the hummus, I still had some hummus left over, which is Athena's hummus, and it had high fructose corn syrup in it, and so I kind of was like, well, I want to start doing this, I took all the things that were blatantly processed and not, like, perishable, and put them in my dishwasher, so that I didn't have to look at them, and, um, starting tomorrow is when I'm going to start filming what I eat, like little snippets of what I've eaten for each meal for probably Tuesday through Friday so that you guys can have an idea of four days on a non-processed diet. Um, but anyway, so yes, tomorrow. It's beginning of September today. It's beginning of the no process thing and it's also the beginning of when I'm going to start working out a lot more. Um, I, well, I've not been working out at all but I'm really going to be pushing myself because I'm going to New York at the end of October, and damn it, I want to have lost more weight. I know it doesn't matter, like, it's just New York, but um, I am going to be walking around town from dawn until dusk, all day, every day, for five days, and God knows, New York is a huge city. I think I'm just going to kill myself if I don't work up to that. Um, plus, I really want to ingrain this whole no-processed foods eating thing into my head before I travel, because traveling always sort of throws you out of your normal eating habits. And then two more things. I wanted to say that, number one, I had several questions. Why did I put the stuff in my dishwasher? Uh, I could not bear to throw it away. Even though it's not that great for me, I'm sure there's going to be one time in the next two months when I'm going to crave those little fudge stripes cookies or whatever, and I don't want to have to go buy them. And um, two, I just cannot bear the thought of throwing away food. I just can't. So if people come over or, like, Sean has a party, I will bring them to the thing and give them away and other people can eat them. But I just cannot bear the thought of throwing away food. It drives me, it makes me very sad. <laughs> anyway, and um, number two, thank you to the 800,000 people who told me my peanut butter is expired. I knew it was expired. I'm sorry, I've known it was expired for, like, a year. Again, cannot throw away food. I haven't been eating it, though. My dad gave me that peanut butter in like 2005 and um, 2004, 2005, somewhere in there when I was still doing the college thing and he gave me like a whole bunch of food um, when I moved into my apartment which was in 2005 but it might have been right before then when I was living with my boyfriend and we just like always were like give us food um, anyway I've had it forever and I never ate it because I would always buy Jif and things so like why eat the like regular natural peanut butter when you can have this super creamy chock full of sugar peanut butter. Anyway, so I know it was expired. Thank you. I feel so foolish for not having mentioned something about it in the video because I got so many comments and personal messages like, I'm concerned about you. I hope you know your peanut butter is expired. Yes. Thank you. Very sweet of you. I know it's expired. I certainly have not opened that jar in years. It's just sort of carted around with me. You know, those like staple pantry items that you never want to eat. But again, huge guilt when I throw away food, so it just sits there. If I hadn't opened it, I would have given it away to, like, a charity or something years ago, but it was open, so I couldn't give it away, and blah, blah. Anyway, I was not planning on making a video today, but here I am, so I guess that's all I had to say. Bye.